we've been delivering IT managed services now for 25 years. 25 years ago, we used to have an engineer go out to site to fix the problem for the client and return to the office. Fast forward 25 years, and today we do over 98% of those calls remotely. The key to managed services for us is making sure that all clients are set up to best practice. It's also key we understand the business objectives. If we can align the IT strategy with the business strategy, then we're going to have a really good partnership with that client. We're 25 years young doing this now, have a lot of automation in place, enables us to look after clients, small, medium and large, uh, seeing great growth through public sector as well. Businesses today can't have a networking specialist, a service specialist, an Azure specialist in their business. Too costly, can't keep them up to date on, on the training that's needed. So they partner somebody like ACS, they outsource to ACS, and it's like turning the tap on. So if they need that Cisco networking skills, then that's one of our engineers. If they need help migrating to the cloud, that's another engineer. So we've got 40 plus engineers with a depth of skill that you can't get into a business. Roll back probably 10 years or so, IT support generally was just IT maintenance. Market has changed somewhat now, and one of our, our big differentiators here at ACS is we have a core focus with every one of our, our customers, what we call partners that we work with, on their IT strategy. Because it's not just about keeping my IT working, Actually, it's about looking at developments. How can we change? How can we optimize our IT? And what we do for all of our managed service customers is when they come on board, we put together a three-year IT strategy. What we think is right for them, what's going to help them attain uh, their operational objectives, but also being mindful of their budgets, their costs, and where they want to go. It's not just maintenance. It's a big play on strategy and IT roadmap. Post onboarding, my engineers will be sat in the, the main office training room. Where they'll receive a full detailed handover of the customer from the onboarding engineer. The great thing about that is guys have been out to site, they know the customer, they know the infrastructure, they've got all the documentation and they bring it back here so to physically hand over to my team. It means from the first call we get from the customer, we know what applications they use, how things interface, how things work and to make it as smooth as possible. We have a network operations team who proactively monitor our customers' infrastructure. This includes uh, monitoring your backups, disk space, uh, server utilization, and, and general performance of your estate in the background. The idea behind this is that we can have a proactive approach to customer issues. We'd much rather have an early warning of a potential problem developing so we can take steps to remediate that, rather than having to react to an issue. And if, if we have to react, generally the customer's already impacted at that point. Ideally, you'd never hear from a network team. They should be looking at the issues in the background, remediating the issues, and if they need your input, they'll call you and advise. Whenever we close one of our customer tickets or resolve an issue, uh, what, they always get a customer satisfaction survey being sent to them as part of the closure notice. This is in the format of a smile back, so you'll see the three smiley faces, a happy face, a sad face, and a neutral face. The idea of this is that with every single ticket a customer logs, they have the ability to feedback on how that service was for the customer. Whether they had a great experience or not so great experience, or whether there's things we can do to improve the service. Our satisfaction is around 99%, 98%. Um, but on the other case, we do get a negative or a neutral customer satisfaction comeback. We always reach out to the customer. We always want to find out what we did wrong, what we could do differently, and what we can improve on. And sometimes that's just as simple as explaining the process behind why we've done certain things or why a vendor has done certain things uh, in more layman's, easy, easy to use language. Mm -hmm.